I'm here to talk to you about something that's of great interest to me as a geologist and as a military historian. And that's trench art that's used chalk, chalk that's been taken from the ground, from the trenches in France, in places like Artois and Picardy, the Somme, and in places around Lourdes and Arras. And what's really interesting is just how the soldiers themselves in the trenches and in dugouts use lumps of chalk to create their own impressions, their own souvenirs to take home. Commonly, they were uh, mimicking the cap badges, like this one from the South Staffordshire Regiment. We don't know who owned this, but we do know when this was made because the paper that was surrounding it from 1916. Amazingly, we also have an image of the same geology here in Salisbury Plain. And so this is a rare survivor in a tobacco tin we can see a cat badge that's been carved in. What really fascinates me is the way in which the soldiers, this was Private Humphrey Mason, uh, had carved this just days into being in the 6th Oxen Books Light Infantry. And what's incredible is that he took his cat badge, this wonderful horn, the bugle, and he mimicked that exactly in chalk. Now what's probably not been told is the fact that this wasn't actually from the ground. This was from the base of the hut. And this was done on the day that he was actually promoted to unpaid lance corporal. Kind of an interesting mark. You'd think that perhaps this was just a British uh, obsession, but no. What we can see is that Germans also carried out the same process. And there's a beautiful synergy. The British, the Germans, and probably also the French, wherever they came across the chalk. And what we can see here is a carved piece of chalk, a pocket piece beautifully shaped with Gott mit uns, God with us, and the Iron Cross. And so the difference between the British and the German uh, examples of this is principally the idea of the Iron Cross or the cap badge. These are all wonderful examples of trench art, things that were brought home or sent home. And they're also indicative of the ground conditions that these soldiers suffered, endured, and experienced. And the beautiful connection back to Salisbury Plain is that those men, the British soldiers in general, who served on Salisbury Plain and who served on the Somme saw the same landscapes and experienced the same conditions and brought home the same souvenirs.